Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to propagate a selection of plants in water. Some of my vining plants have been getting quite long, including this Monstera adansoni, as you can see. So I thought, right, I'm going to give them a trim and then I can plant the cutting once it's rooted back into the pot to create a bushier plant. So I'm just going to be using some sterilised shears. I know they look a bit grubby, but they're actually very clean. And I'm going to take the cutting, I think here. So you just look for a node and then you cut just below the node, just like that. And then I'm going to pop him in this really cute cactus vase that my friend got me for my birthday. I knew it would come in handy. And that's it. I'm going to keep this cutting in bright indirect light and I'll keep you posted on how it's doing. So the next plant I wanted to propagate is my beautiful string of hearts. As you can see, it's really long and lush. I did give it a trim a few months back and you can see, I think I trimmed it about here. So all this is new growth, which is amazing really. But the top of the plant is really sparse and I'd love to create a bushier plant, so I wanted to take some cuttings and then once they're rooted, I'll put them back into the soil to create a bushier plant. Oh, these can get so tangled, it's a nightmare. I remember when I first received it in the post. It was tangled so badly, it took me ages to unravel it all. By the way, I'm not wearing gloves for any particular reason, just because I've been out in the garden quite a bit this week and my nails need a bit of TLC. So I'm just going to be using some small sterilised nail scissors to take my cuttings, if I can untangle it. So with the string of hearts, you need to be taking a cutting right next to a node where the leaves are coming from. And you're just going to be snipping the leaves off and then popping the end in water and then the roots will start forming from this node. I kind of don't know where this begins and where it ends. Ah, here we are. Oh, I just thought I'd mention, my plants aren't covered in dust, it's actually a thrip treatment. If you've watched my recent videos, you'll know that I treated a couple of my plants for thrips and I just decided to treat all the plants that were quite close to them as well. So it's not dust, they're not neglected. The last time I checked my Calathea orbifolia, it's looking really good actually and I can't actually see any thrips on it now. So that's really good news, but I'll keep you posted. So I've got a few more plants here that I'm going to propagate. I've got a Syngonium. Fetonia and a Marble Queen Pothos. Oh, and my Begonia Maculata Whiteyi that is in my Viol Bear Terrarium. Actually, I'll head over to the terrarium now and do that first. So here we have my Viol Bear Terrarium, and I plan on trimming down my Begonia Maculata Whiteyi because it's pretty much touching the roof of the terrarium now. So I'm gonna give it a little trim. 
and propagate the cuttings. So I'm going to film from the other side so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be cutting above part of the stem where a leaf is coming out. I hope you can see this. This will actually encourage new growth to come from the part that you've just cut. So it should bush out into a more full plant because they can get quite leggy if you don't trim them. Okay, next up, I'm going to propagate my syngonium. So with the syngonium, what you have to do is follow the stem right down to the bottom until you can find a node like this here. Sometimes you might have to take a little bit of the soil off the surface just to find a node because generally they're quite far down. So I'm going to go for this one here. I'm going to trim just below that. I've never propagated a syngonium before, so I haven't got a clue how long it will take for it to root. But they seem to grow quite fast and they love a lot of water, so I'm assuming it will be quite quick. I love syngoniums, they're one of my favourite house plants. So I'm just going to pop him in some water. My philodendron Brazil needed a good trim. It's up in the bathroom, but it was a bit of a mission to take it down because it's in a hanging pot. So I just went and cut them. So just look out for these little aerial roots and then just cut about a centimetre below. And then this is where the roots will form. Such a beautiful plant. So I'm just gonna pop him in a vase. Next up we have one of my Fetonias. This one, as you can see, is very spindly looking and leggy. It does need a really good trim. It's quite good to give Fetonias a trim now and again to promote bushy growth. So basically, if you cut just above one of these nodes here, new growth will form and then it will become a much bushier plant. Also, this Fetonia is very pot bound the roots are growing out the bottom of the pot, so it does need repotting. You can propagate Fetonia in soil or water. I already filmed a video on soil propagation, so I thought I'd give the water propagation a go. So if you cut just below a node, this is where the roots are going to form in the water. And then just trim the excess stem off just above the node and then this is where the new growth will come from. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a trim. That'll do for now. I'll trim down those stems after I've finished filming. If there's a leaf growing from one of the nodes, just trim it off. Here we are. Oh, it looks really cute actually. I do also have a Fetonia Care Tips video if you haven't seen that one. I'll link it below for you. So last up we have this beautiful Marble Queen Pothos. Pothos, however you like to pronounce it. It's got some really beautiful variegation on the leaves. So again with this plant, you're just looking for a node, which is here or here.
So again, just pop this in some water and roots should start to form. I also wanted to show you how my dwarf cavendish was doing because I made a propagation video for this plant a couple of months ago. So basically there was a little pup like this growing from the base which I propagated. This is actually a new pup now. I'm just going to show you the plant that I propagated. So as you can see it's grown quite a lot in two months really. I've been keeping it on a, a really bright sunny west facing window. It's quite thirsty so it gets quite a, a good drink a couple of times a week. How cute does my propagation station look? I love that it's such a good mixture of colours, texture and pattern. They contrast really well against each other. And it'll be interesting to see which ones root first. I'll keep you posted. Here's the other cuttings. They look really cute in this vase as well. I'm going to be keeping this station on a window that receives bright indirect light and I'll try and keep the humidity around 50% or above if I can but for the last six months or so it's been between 40 and 50% in my home but now it's coming into summer hopefully it will be a little bit higher. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you've got any questions leave them below and I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care everyone!